Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to some more of the Long Dark Winter Mute. Uh, we are doing alright, if I do say so myself. Story mode is, uh, picking up as it were, but my character is beyond exhausted at this point. But I don't know how long he's gonna last, uh, before he starts taking damage. I'd like to try and make it to, like, the next logical point where, um... You know, we can find a place to, to sleep and not just plop down a bedroll kind of just anywhere. But, if that's what we have to end up doing, that's what we have to end up doing. I'm not too concerned about it. Too much stuff to carry. You're fine. Uh, but just gonna keep pushing on. I feel like we're getting close to the end of episode one. Um, it'd be hilarious if it ended in, like, the next minute, though. Uh, I don't even know what I would do at that point. <laughs> would I just go right to episode two? I don't know, man. I feel like, uh... That isn't gonna happen, but it still would be funny if it would. La 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 la. All right, nothing over here. We're doing all right. We're still alive. I don't see our health really ticking down, so the exhaustion hasn't really beat us up too much. As long as we don't have to do any big climbing, we we should be fine. And luckily, these cave systems are not as confusing as they could be. Pretty straightforward, if I do say so myself. And I ain't complaining. Alright, well, we can't sprint, we're carrying too much. That makes sense. Okay, Maya. It's the morning time. Maya's very excited in the morning time. She loves the window in the morning. I, I, I've, I've sent plenty of pictures of Maya in her, in her throne, looking out the window in the morning and all her adorableness, and she just went to get a little snack, and now she's jumping back up into the window and she just likes to look out there because every once in a while there's like rabbits and uh and squirrels and all kinds of stuff out out my window side and she she loves it man she does rightfully so rightfully so i'm a i'm a big fan of nature you know i love me some nature a lot of the time when i was growing up uh i hated it uh, i'll be honest with you i i just wanted to stay home and like play video games and never leave my house when i was you know young by young, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking like 10, 11, 12, 13 years old, you know, relatively on the actual younger side. Um, and my parents were huge fans of hiking. They loved going out hiking and, and, and whatnot. And it's a shame that I didn't really appreciate it back then as much as I appreciate it now because, you know, I don't have as much time nowadays to go hiking and stuff. But there is a, a true, there's a true, like, peacefulness that I, I thoroughly miss going hiking. We used to hike all kinds of stuff, trails and mountains, and it was just awesome, and I, I really miss it. Um, and it's odd, because, like, I still, that love of nature persisted throughout my whole life. I, I know I've talked a, a lot about uh, watching uh, Survivor Man with my dad after, you know, late night shifts at restaurants. The thing with my dad, oh, Jesus! Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. wasn't expecting a jump scare. <laughs> Wait, what? That's the end of the first- Okay, well, I was right. Our health felt- Heartfelt thanks to 1.3 million players who took a chance in the long dark when it was first on Kickstarter and then later on Early Access. Your steadfast support of our efforts help has helped us get where we are today. We hope you find it worth the wait. And there we go. That's- that's the first- That's the first episode. Well, I'm gonna finish my story. Uh, about nature is like me and my dad. We both worked in the restaurant industry. I, I got into the restaurant industry when I was very young uh, I was a host at Applebee's at 16 years old. My dad actually got me that job And my dad all through his life and all through it even now. He still works in the restaurant industry though. He's like vice president of marketing at like uh, a Different company now. It doesn't matter But you because of that we both got home really late a lot of the times, you know closing shifts You don't get home till two or three in the morning sometimes and we would just hang out on the couch and put on survivor man And just kind of catch up and it was quality time, you know, just me and my dad nobody else not my brother not my sister not my mom and uh, You know that that love of nature I guess kind of brought us together in a lot of ways and I, I miss it I miss it a lot I'm and if you're listening to dad cuz I know you do listen to a lot of my videos man uh, I love you and I miss doing stuff like that with you back in the day uh, a lot of good memories doing stuff like that so uh well I guess that's let's go ahead and can we skip it I can okay cool um I mean do I just dive in episode two I mean I feel like this is gonna be a short ass episode if I just don't dive into episode two um do I have to do new 
Wait, I can't just continue. Like, immediate. Okay. All right. I was gonna say we can we can continue immediately on to episode two, right? That was a good opening. I actually really enjoyed that. That 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 wasn't the first episode's opening. I think it was just more story based in the first episode. That was a hell of a Dude. great opening. Okay, hello. That must be the man who got attacked by the bear. There I am, the clown prince. Ooh, all right. Where? Bear. Ah. Easy. Easy. You're okay now. The bear's gone. <clears throat> Who? Who are you? Name's Mackenzie. I found you when the bear was. <clears throat> uh, I remember now. <clears throat> You get the bear. It ran away. I think I hit it. Or scared it off. <laughs> Probably should have been playing dead, dude. Scared it off. Not the way you shoot. Glad your memory's coming back. It's so cold. I got a fire going. That should warm things up a bit. Pain. Pain. Need something for pain. Here, take these. They should help. I have about 700 painkillers, trust me. Just take some. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's hamming it up real hard. Listen. You're gonna need more than some pills and bandages. You're hurt. Badly. That bite'll get infected. Maybe worse. You have any stronger meds? No. <laughs> oh, damn. Map. Back of the door. <laughs> Hey, can you hear me, old man? Sweet, now I can rob him blind. Damn it, he's passed out. Huh, looks like an old hydroelectric dam not too far from here. Might be a good place to look for supplies. Hang in there, 
Whatever your name is. Ooh, okay. I can run again. Uh, looks like some of my stuff either went away or something. Can I just, like, rob this dude straight up? I can't. I can't even open that. That's dumb. Why am I not allowed? Like, what happens if I do? Jeremiah now trusts you 5% less. Oh. Well, sorry, Jeremiah, but at least I figured out your name. Alright, well. Maybe I can, like, cook some stuff. I don't know, man. Let's go ahead and cook it up. Infinite heat, baby. All of our stats are replenished as well. But I, I like how he just won't let me have anything. Like, I saved your ass, dude. I'm tr I trust you less now. I trust you less. Alright, so we must be here. Let me just go to the right, find the train track, and go up. No problem. Easy peasy lemon McSqueezy. Trevor's my key to getting out of here. You better not die on me. Don't you die on me. Trapper's homestead. Oh, this is the... This is the house. Hmm. All right, like, well, kind of. It's like, it's like they take the map from the from the survival mode and they kind of mess with it a little bit. Like the house looks a little different. The layout, I think, is just a little different overall. That's cool. Really, I didn't get to keep the fucking dude. I'm going out to save you. Could you at least hook me up with like your goddamn rifle? Ideally, that would be I. You know, I was about to say ideally that would be ideal. Because that's just kind of the man I am. Um, <clears throat> but seriously. Wait, I have no extra clothing? It got rid of all my extra clothing. That's what it did. That's why I'm not as heavy as I was. It got rid of all of my extra clothes. That's fine. I accept it. I accept it for what it was. That opening song was great, though. Really enjoyed that. So, like I said, we're just gonna head to the right. Just kind of look for the train station, railroads and stuff, and then just go from there. Um, I do have a bunch of flares, if I remember correctly. I, first of all, I have, I have a flare, but I have a bunch of, of like flares in for my flare gun, flare shells, flare rounds. I don't know what you want to call it. So I will be at the ready firing those things off. The thing is, they're not as long li long lived as a regular flare, obviously, because if they were... Uh, where? I was here. I went up and to the right. I'm gonna have to just keep following this until I find a way around. So they're not as long lived, obviously, as a flare. So I only get one shot and it'll scare off one wolf, where if I carry a flare around, I can, like, ward off a bunch of different wolves if I have to run into a bunch. So I guess it'll depend if I run into a bunch of wolves or just one on what I end up using. Ideally, I could just, you know, murder them, but not so lucky. And if this is... We're going to the hydroelectric dam. Um, we got to be prepared because it's like, if it's like the survival mode, there's always a wolf in that, in that dam. Every single time there's a wolf. I think the community has actually given that wolf a name at this point. I don't know what it is, but we're going to have to be ready for it. I fully expect we're going to have to fight that thing. And I, I, won't, I will fight it. I'm not going to use a, a flare to try and spook it out. I'm actually going to just try and straight up just hand-to-hand -hand fight the thing. If, the fa if I can just kill it off, we'll be better off. Okay, it's a rabbit I see bouncing out in the distance. Maybe a few rabbits and a rundown home. Or is this the train station? This might actually just be the train. Yeah, I think we found the train. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. I know I'm sprinting, which is not very cost efficient when it comes to stamina. We're going to be burning our stamina quite a bit doing that, but get this out of the woods. The difficulty for me, I already could tell. And it's gonna, people are already gonna know. But the difficulty for me is gonna be finding my way back to the Trapper's Homestead, man. I'm telling you. I'm gonna have such a hard time. I know I am. 
So all we got to do is follow the train all the way up to there. And along the way, there actually is on our left-hand side, there's going to be a lookout. Gladly, we'll probably go check out the lookout. We could get a weapon, uh, just or just some useful supplies. As long as I can see it ahead of time. I'm not going to go wandering off to the left if I can't see it. Because we're heading directly north. Pretty sure. So this is the west. Where the lookout is, anyway. Trying to keep ears and eyes out. That looks like something's down there, and I, I, I definitely will go and explore it eventually. But let's let's kind of focus up and uh, nail the the objectives first. Jeremiah, trust me, five percent less because I went rummaging through his garbage. What a! I'm still mad about it. I'm sorry. All right, there's the lookout. By the way, I can see it from here. Maybe we'll go. We'll hit the lookout on the way back. But he does—he was out. He was unconscious. I should be able to at least look through his shit without him being like a whiny pissy bab, because he's uh, asleep from being. I, I saved him. Let me have some of your shit, man. I saved you. This is actually just straight up the survival map. Maybe they just changed the Trapper's Homestead house model, and it looks like that in survival mode now as well. So, I'm, I'm Mystery Lake, man. It's been so long since I have tr done a survival stint here on Mystery Lake. Three wolves. Mm, could be slightly dangerous if I uh, attract their attention. Alright. Let's start looting up here. Excellent. Excellent. Take the Storm Lantern. Uh, due to unusually cold weather this year, we're shutting down Mystery Lake Provincial Park a little earlier than usual. Make sure all campers are packed. Wait, what? Uh... Anyone left behind will have to get out on foot. Not a nice prospect. As per the usual procedure, lock up all lake cabins and make sure all provisions are stored in the bear-proof locker containers. And please take the flag down this year. We had to replace it last winter. The winds just tear it to shreds. After you're finished closing down the camp, make sure you check in at the Forestry Service Lookout as requested. Apparently, those guys... Uh, I think someone's been using their lookout to store hunting gear and drying old animal skins. Okay, apparently. Oh, maybe I'm going back, back. Okay, so that's some useful stuff. No radio. Um, actually, what we're going to do before I loot the shit out of this place completely is let's uh, let's take a look at our lanterns here. We're going to drop this one. Because it has very little left in it. A hatchet. I, I already have a hatchet. I can actually harvest this for fir wood, though. I'll keep both. I'm going to keep both. I should probably try and just get as much use out of it as I can before I end up getting rid of it. Key to Lake Cabin 3. Alright. I could use this. Leaving the newspaper behind, as always. So we're going to want to take a look at the lake cabins if they're going to be locked up, then. Yeah, I'll take water purifications. Ooh, line. You know, we might as well. Just because food is going to be something that I'm afraid that we're going to need badly. Really? Nothing in the first aid area? I already popped that. You don't need to give me sad freaking fallout music, man. Just saying. Don't really need the wood matches. Have way more than I need as it is. Cloth. This is way more packed and decorated than it was before. I like it. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. 
thermal undies. As a man who went camping many times when he was a young lad, thermal undies are amazing. Shit keeps your junk and legs warm. Alright, well, that's about it. I'm just going to rip all this clothing up because we lost all of our spare clothing between episodes. Or, well, between in-game episodes anyway. Um, but this is a good place. I mean, we're about 20 minutes in. Um, I'm curious if people care enough to see the second episode. I wanted to at least do a little bit of it because we were obviously, uh, we beat the first one in like five minutes there of, the, of this episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you want to see more, let me know. Uh, and as always, if you did enjoy it, hit the like button. Your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see all of you and next time. Bye-bye.